more traditional form of reference material are CAD files and DWG and DXF file formats are the most common of these. There are two ways that we can bring these files into 3D Studio Max. One is through just a straight import and the other is through something called the File Link Manager. So you can see here we've got a little bit of an explanation about it. We find it by going to our Start menu, coming down to References and then going to the File Link Manager. So I'll click on that and the first thing I'm asked to do is to pick a file. So I'll pick a file from my File Link Manager and you can see we've already got a DWG file ready to insert. So I'll open that and I could just say okay attach this file but really what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm not going to get any extraneous layers coming in. So I'll pick on the select layers to include option and that will take a few moments there we go and you can see here I've got skip all frozen layers switched on and all of the layers appear to be selected I can't make any changes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select from list. Now the tick next to each one of these layers means that it's going to be included. So there's obviously going to be a few layers in here that I don't want to include. The first one is going to be my audit bad layer. It's a fairly obvious one. Um, looking down the list, I've got AC viewport. Well, that one's actually turned off and hidden, so why would I want to import it? As I come further down the list, we've got things like def points and dimensions 3D Studio Max doesn't understand what def points are and it certainly doesn't understand dimensions so there's no point trying to bring layers in with that type of information on. Moving further down the list we can see here what else have we got? Ah, oh, hatching. Hatching. 3D Studio Max has no idea what hatching is. Uh, I certainly won't accept it as being dynamic so we will unselect that. Moving down we probably don't want the notes file either or the notes layer and we certainly don't want the shadows layer that will just get in the way of our our lines so there we go that's all we really need i'll click ok to that so now those are the only layers that's going to come in i have got here some presets so if i was working from revit i could use a revit preset uh, i'm not i'm just using straight dwg and I'm also going to try, uh, well actually I don't have to rescale it, but if I was, I could say we've got incoming units were inches, and it would then rescale the incoming file to be my, um, whatever unit scale I'd, I'd specified in my custom setup. So once I've done that, I'll just hit click attach. There'll be a few moments while it links the AutoCAD drawing. And then, there we go, there's the file inside 3D Studio. Now if I go to files, I can see that I've got my linked files is actually plots 1 and 2 CA. So I'll close this dialog down and I'll left click in my top viewport and we'll just have a look at it. You can see that it's slightly offset from the world centre, but that's fine. And if I look at it in my perspective view, I'll make that maximum screen and I'll click to orbit. There we go. You see I can rotate around and I can look at this and what I've got in here is the actual CAD file as it was drawn out in 2D. Now that's quite useful because if somebody was to make a change to this file and they were, you know, they, they wanted to change maybe the inside layout or maybe they wanted to make a change to um, part of the front of the house or to some element in the back of the house at all what would happen is, is that would automatically update inside of 3D Studio. Okay. One thing you will notice, however, is if I select one of these elements and I go to my Modified tab up here, that I've just got Link Geometry. I can't actually edit this. If I wanted to edit this, what I would have to do is I would have to bind the drawing to 3D Studio Max, which would then make it part of 3D Studio Max and it would then be editable. So what I'll do now is I'll go to my manage, oh sorry, references, file link manager. I'll select that drawing and I will bind it. Proceed with bind. See there you get a little warning. 
And now when I select one of these objects, you see it actually comes in as an editable spline. So now if I needed to make any changes myself, I could do. If I just do a control Z, perhaps we can get out this, there we go. Um, so now I've still got this file. Uh, I've gone back, I've control Z'd a couple of times, so I've undone. And now the file is back to being linked as it was before. If I want to detach the drawing, and I don't want this part of my file anymore, what I will do is just simply press detach. You can hear there, there was a bleep, comes up with a warning. Do I want to proceed? It will remove all objects associated with the file. Well, yes, I do for this example. And we wait a few moments, and then everything will go away. So now I'm back to where I started. 